welcome to my channel if you don't already know by the title of the video I'm doing the Christmas tag Aussie version today and I'm so excited because I'm collaborating with four other wonderful channels here on YouTube that are all mummy vloggers like myself so once you have finished watching my video please be sure to click on their links down below in the description bar and subscribe while you're there if you like what you see and don't forget to thumbs up to show your love for their channel as well so the channels that I am collaborating with today are master mains and she is a mum of two beautiful little girls, the vegan mama who is a mama to a beautiful daughter named Olive, the adoring four who has four beautiful little children and the whole house is a mama of two living in Queensland. So again please be sure to check out their channels down below. I have the links in the description bar and they'll be doing the same video as I am today. I can't wait to see what answers they come up with for this tag. And if you're new to my channel and you're coming from one of their channels, my name's Silvana and I do mummy lifestyle and kid type videos. So if you're interested in that sort of content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well and thumbs up this video too because I'd love to have you on board. I've got heaps of Christmas videos coming up um, as well as the most popular video which I think is on YouTube around Christmas is what I'm getting my kids for Christmas. So that is also coming up as well. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the fun Christmas videos that are coming up on my channel as well so with all that said let's get into the questions so there's 10 questions in total I have them on my phone here so I'm just going to be referring it down to my phone so the first question is what is your Christmas decor style and colors for this year so the last year I just had gold and silver decor all through my house but this year I'm doing the same gold and silver but I've now brought in the red um, because I just love the pop of colour that it gives to the house and red is so festive and I just love the colour red um, with the gold and silver so that's what I've gone for this year so gold, silver and red. The next question is what is your favourite Christmas song? Okay so if I went for the traditional Christmas carol songs I would have to say Jingle Bells because you can't go wrong with Jingle Bells right? Um, it's a classic but if I had to pick a Christmas song that I actually enjoy listening to rather than just singing carols, I would say All I Want For Christmas by Mariah Carey. Loved Mariah Carey growing up and that was one of her Christmas songs that I actually really enjoyed listening to and I still do to this day. So What I Want For Christmas by Mariah Carey. The next question is, what is your favourite Christmas movie? Ooh, this one's hard because so many Christmas movies out there that are really great. Um, and now that I have kids, I'm kind of re-watching all of the Christmas movies I used to love as a child as well. Um, but I have to say the classic Christmas movie has to be Home Alone. I loved watching this as a child. I would watch it on repeat. Even when it wasn't Christmas season, I would just love to watch it. It is such a fun, loving, family-oriented type of movie. Um, and yeah, you can't go wrong with Home Alone. And yeah, so that's a classic that I love. But if I had to choose like a kid movie, like one that I would watch with my children, um, because Home Alone might be a bit too old for them yet. I've got a four and a two year old, so they're more into cartoon type movies at the moment. So if I went for that sort of style movie, I'll I'll have to say Polar Express because I just love that movie. It's so sweet and it's about magic and believing in Santa and the, the spirit of Christmas. So Polar Express for like a kids type movie. I'm alone for like an actual proper movie, not like a cartoon style Christmas movie, if that makes sense. Question four, if you could only buy one person a present, who would it be for? This is so hard. And when I was actually coming up with these questions, this is one that came up on a lot of the tag videos for Christmas and it's really difficult because if I only had one child of course I would just choose my child um, but I have two kids so I can't just choose one so I'm going to kind of cheat with this question and just say both of my kids because there's no chance I can choose between one or the other to give a gift to. I love them dearly and I love them equally so I'm not going to say you know to give one gift if I could only give one gift, it would be just to a child. I'll have to just say my children. So definitely my kids. So to answer the question, um, definitely just my children. I can't say a person, like one singular person. I'll have to say both of my kids. The next question is, do you have any family Christmas traditions? So we actually have two Christmases that we celebrate because we're Orthodox. 
So we do still celebrate the 25th of December, which is worldwide. And on this day, we usually go to my parents' house for like a family barbecue and gathering where we unwrap presents and have, you know, Christmas carols playing and just have a relaxing day. Um, if it's nice weather, because it is summer here in Australia during Christmas, we like to go ahead and take the whole family off to the bay, um, which is a nice beach resort um, location. Um, and we love going there. It's, the water is so calm and gentle for the kids to play in. Um, but it just depends on the weather. So if the weather isn't really beach appropriate, then we'll just be at my parents for like a barbecue. Um, but it, if the weather is nice outside and it's warm enough to swim, we'll then head off to the bay. But like I said, we do celebrate two Christmases. I'm so blessed and lucky that we do get to celebrate Christmas twice because who doesn't love Christmas? And if you can celebrate it twice in a year, that's amazing. Um, but we actually celebrate Christmas, our Orthodox Christmas, on the 7th of January. Um, so on this day, it's a more of a traditional Christmas where we um, bake homemade bread and we break that with the family and we have like a full, you know, Christmas feast. Um, we have a candle burning and yeah, it's a lot more traditional rather than just like opening presents um, and having Christmas carols and all that. It's a bit more traditional on the 7th. So that's our little family tradition that we do on Christmas. Um, well, that's our kind of religion part of what we do on Christmas. In regards to, to actual family traditions, um, in my actual family, like my little family of four here, I actually bought Elf on the Shelf this year into our house. I may or may not have that video up already where the kids meet the elves for the first time and we put up the tree. If I have put up that video before this one, I'll link it down below. So go check that one out as well. Um, but that's a cute thing that I've brought into our little family tradition for Christmas is bringing the elves into our house. Um, and also we have like a Christmas Eve box that we open up um, the day before Christmas. Um, and just the normal typical Christmas traditions that I guess every family has. We don't do anything extra special. Um, maybe as the years go on, I'll add a few little things that we do every year. But at the moment, we just do those typical Christmas celebration and traditions. We like to go see the Christmas lights every year. And we like to go to at least one Christmas carol each year as well. So we do, um, you know, have those, I guess, for a little tradition, but no other specific ones that we do. We just love Christmas and it just soak it all in during the month of December. The next question is, do you open any presents on Christmas Eve? Okay, so we don't actually open any presents as such on Christmas Eve. I never have growing up as a kid, so I haven't really done that with my children. Um, but on Christmas Eve, I do give the kids a Christmas Eve box. Um, and this typically has like, you know, Christmas DVDs, some popcorn, some really nice Christmas pajamas, um, some Christmas hats and things like that to get them ready for Christmas Day. Um, but they don't open presents as such. We just open them on Christmas morning. So the next question is, what is your favorite Christmas meal or treat? This is really hard. I don't have a favorite. Um, I don't think I do. Like I said, we just have the typical Christmas barbecue. Um, so you can't go wrong with that. And then we do have our Christmas feast on the 7th. Um, but that's more like traditional food that we have. And then obviously the homemade bread as well. If I would say Christmas, um, like Christmas treat. When I think of Christmas and Christmas treats, the, what comes into mind is um, candy canes. So I guess that would probably be my favorite. Candy canes are really fun to eat and every kid loves getting candy canes on Christmas. So I'll just say candy canes for this answer. So the next question is, what is your best memory of Christmas as a kid? Oh, I loved Christmas as a kid. My parents always make Christmas so super fun and exciting for us. Um, but I have to say that my most favorite memory of Christmas as a kid was when we hired at a little minibus and we picked up all my cousins and aunties and uncles that lived in our area and we all hopped on a little minibus and it took us all the way to the bay and that's when we first started the tradition of going to the bay on Christmas morning or Christmas day. Um, and we just had a blast. I think one of my uncles dressed up as Santa and he gave out presents and we just spent the day at the bay swimming and enjoying a barbecue with family. 
Um, but just going on that minibus together and singing Christmas carols and being jolly and fun and happy and laughing and just talking and you know telling each other what we got from from Santa um, while we're on the bus on the way to the bay because I think it's about an hour to get to the bay from where I live so it is a good amount of time to be on the bus with all your cousins on Christmas morning like who wouldn't want that it was so much fun and yeah I'm so thankful that my parents went all out for Christmas and you know really made an effort to make it special for us so I really strive to do that for my kids now that they are getting to that age where they understand Christmas and what it means. So I'll make sure I um, do make it extra special for them as well because they're the memories that you do remember and you hold dear to your heart. So yeah, definitely is one of my favorite Christmas memories growing up as a kid. The next question is, have you ever had a white Christmas? So I'm assuming the meaning of white Christmas means having snow on Christmas day. And I have to say no to this answer only because I do live in Australia and like I said before in Australia during Christmas it's summer so there's no chance of snow and even where I live there is never any snow even in winter so I definitely have never had a white Christmas I was born overseas and I suppose I had a white Christmas back there um, because I came to Australia when I was three but I don't remember any of it um, so I guess technically I've had a white Christmas but not in Australia, not from what I remember. And the last question is, describe Christmas in one word. Oh, this is so hard. Christmas in one word. Oh, what can I say for this? Christmas in one word, I guess I just have to say, I would say magical. Um, yeah, magical. I think I'll say magical just because it is such a special day. There's, you know, lights everywhere and glitter and um, tinsel. And it just makes you feel like happy and jolly and magical. So I'm just going to say magical for that answer. And that actually concludes all of the questions for this Christmas tag. I hope you have enjoyed this and got to know me a little bit better. If you have, don't forget to please subscribe down below to see more videos from me. Like I said, I'll be doing a whole heap of Christmas videos coming, which I'm super excited about. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of those videos. Please don't forget to check out all the other channels in the description bar down below because they are also going to be answering the same questions I did this in video and I can't wait to see the answers. And while you're there, go and subscribe to their channels as well because they're all amazing mamas and they're doing a wonderful jobs on their channel. So subscribe and like, show some love and some Christmas spirit during this month of December. And that is all for me today. I hope you have enjoyed and I hope you are all in the Christmas spirit as well. And I'll see you in my next video everyone. Bye!